Well, I, I was involved in the, in the first movie and I worked with Ed Solomon on the script for a couple of weeks and then worked with uh, mainly Woody Harrelson on the first movie. And then in, in this movie, I worked with Ed for 12 months on the script. So right from day one, uh, just throwing as many magic ideas and mentalism ideas as I could at him. Um, and then we just worked really hard on the script together. Um, and uh, it was an amazing experience for me to see all of the different ideas and tricks and illusions that I threw at them, at him rather, uh, coming to life in the movie. And then I was worked on set for all four months, and this time with all the actors. Um, I worked with Lizzie Kaplan in the head chop sequence, worked on that for a couple of months. Worked with the props department to come up with all the different props. Uh, so set across pretty much uh, all of the magic mentalism and hypnotism in the movie, and it was uh, an amazing experience, you know. Woody picked up the mentalism very, very quickly. Um, and I have to say, he's pretty damn good at it. He can do it out and about, and uh, you know, he can hypnotize people, uh, and he can mentalize people. But I would say probably the most naturally skilled would be Dave, Dave Frankel. He can throw a card across a room and hit a melon now, and stick it into a melon, and uh, he can do some amazing things with, with cards. So I'd say he's the most natural of all, uh, all the actors, you know? No, I've only worked on the, the Now You See Me movies to date, and uh, it's been, as I said, an amazing experience, and uh, you know, uh, one I'll cherish forever. Well, uh, more offset than onset. I remember one time that I was with Woody and Mark, we were having dinner, and uh, Woody hypnotized Mark Ruffalo, for real, for real, to see the color green, uh, because of the, the whole thing about the Hulk. So he genuinely could only see the color green. But now here's the thing. Mark says he was acting. I'm looking at this knowing that he was genuinely hypnotized. Woody now can't tell. So now nobody knows the real truth of what actually happened that day. So that was kind of an interesting experience. And then with the head chop sequence with Lizzie Kaplan, uh, you know, that was a difficult sequence for her to act in because it's a very uncomfortable position for her to be in, in the couch that she was in and so on. Um, but I do remember on that day, you know, being under a lot of pressure because if that went wrong, it was going to really hurt her neck. Uh, but she, she was amazing at that. And then I remember with uh, Dave Franco, uh, there was one time when we were doing the three card sequence. And what was amazing there was the three card trick that he did, all of the crew uh, I, I wasn't expecting this. All of the crew erupted and started clapping and laughing, and I was like, what? And then I realized they were all fooled really badly by the trick he had just done. Uh, so it wasn't just movie magic. He was also uh, fooling the, the, the crew as well. And I suppose one final story, I remember um, uh, John Chu challenged uh, Woody and Dave Franco, and he, he bet them that Woody couldn't catch 10 cards in a row thrown by Dave across the room. And he, it was a money bet. I can't remember how much money it was. But they took up the bet. Uh, Dave stood at one side of the room. Uh, Woody stood at the other side of the room. And Dave just kept throwing uh, cards at Woody. And, and Woody caught 10 in a row and they won the bet. I don't know if John Chu has paid up, though. So, John, if you're listening to this, make sure you pay the boys. <laughs>